The festival is breaking records, which is quite a difference from the Apple shortage it had last year. News Channel 15's Erin Rogers spent the afternoon at the festival. She joins us now with our top story. Alyssa, last year the festival barely had any fresh apple vendors because of the drought. But this year it was all thanks to plenty of sun, a bit of rain, and lots and lots of apple seeds. The 39th annual Johnny Appleseed Festival kicked off with a bang. Thousands of people came to Johnny Appleseed Park to enjoy 19th century fashion, arts and crafts, and lots and lots of apples. The festival is around the time of John Chapman or Johnny Appleseed's birthday every year. Last year, the drought severely dwindled the amount of apples at the festival, but this year, festival organizers say they were more than ever before. David Dowd had to miss the festival last year for the first time in 30 years, but this year he was able to offer festival goers several tons of 27 different types of apples from his orchard, which definitely made customers happy. It is a real effort, but um, it's also validation for what we do and, and to be able to offer this to the, uh, the patrons of the, of the festival is a, an honor for me, really. A lot of apples this year, a lot of varieties, and there's a lot of people here, and it's a wonderful weather. You, you can't miss it this year. It's a good year. And the festival does continue tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tonight, hear how festival organizers say the increase in apples has helped the festival.